Toby Perkins. Thank you uh, very much, Mr Speaker. Uh, firstly, I'd like to pay tribute to everyone in the further education sector, and particularly those college leaders left with very difficult decisions to make this January because of the BTEC exam uh, fiasco. Uh, but I think the government's farcical approach to those exams has left college leaders to show leadership and concern for pupil and teacher safety in the absence of any from the government. And as the honourable gentleman from Romford's questions just exposed, now we've got students and colleges on different tracks to the same exams. It's all so unnecessary. How many more vocational students must suffer as a result of the Secretary of State's inability to make the right decisions at the right time. Yeah. Well, Mr Speaker, um, first of all, may I associate also my comments. The, the sector has done an amazing job at keeping learning going, whether that's been remotely, they've been absolutely outstanding, or indeed preparing colleges to take students. And learners up and down the country have faced unprecedented challenges this year. And for those who've worked so hard over recent months preparing for their January exams, and particularly for those who require a practical license to practice, it's right that we allow them the opportunity to progress because there are no alternative arrangements that are capable of being put in place for these type of exams. And schools and colleges are best placed to know whether they're in a position to deliver the January exams and what type of mix of students they have. And that's why, in light of rapidly evolving public health advice, we took the decision to give them the final say on whether proceeding with January exams was right for their learners. And I'm sure the Honourable Gentleman, and indeed the whole House, will want to join me in wishing those learners all the very best for their results.